So good afternoon, everyone. So I'm Sharif from Gojek. I'm data engineer from Gojek in the BI. And today I want to share with you about the real-world examples of Gojek using Dataflow as our data streaming and patch pipeline. So Gojek is an uh, Indonesian-owned technology startup that has specialized in uh, transport, food delivery, and payments. And Gojek started in 2000, 2010 with only call center. With no application, we created Ojek services. So Ojek is like red hailing service motorcycle in Indonesia. And in 2015, Gojek launched an app with only three services. We have GoMart, we have GoFood, and GoRide itself. And in 2016, Gojek had expansion in 50 big cities in Indonesia and created new services since. And this is our application, our service by now. We have currently have 18 products serving very different needs. And this is Gojek Footprints nationwide. Currently, we have 1 million drivers, which completed 3 million trips per day. And our application already downloaded more than 76 million downloads. And we have more than 200,000 merchants in 50 big cities in Indonesia. And we move to our Gojek data growth. So, in BI, this is our current stat in second quarter of 2018. From the previous month until this month, our data, our data growing more than 30% from per month, and from that data, we can create more than 700 multi-resolution data sets. And from that, we can create more than 20,000 data points. From our data analysts, we can, uh, they create the metabase and tableau sheets. And from there, they create more than 13,000 metabase card and tableau sheets. And our user, which means our analyst, created uh, the user is more than 2,000 at that moment. And this number are increasing day by day. It means we need a uh, more big uh, platform and more scale for that. So what is, sharing for, what is the challenge from the previous architecture we have. Previously, we used PostgreSQL, Pentaho, and also the Python script. And the previous, uh, previous uh, architecture, we have a report at the day plus one, so we couldn't identify the problems at the moment. And we already uh, also had a had a concern about the processing power because data comes in batch and it already big. So we need to process over two billion data in one shot because it's big. So we need a bigger machine with bigger RAM, a bigger CPU, and we need takes a long time to process the data. And the business needs more real time data insights. So previously we use uh, PostgreSQL. As you may know that PostgreSQL needs uh, maintenance daily, weekly, monthly, at least you have to archive your data, you have to vacuum your data, and you have to re-index your data to remain your query fast. And you also uh, need to, yeah, uh, maintaining the PostgreSQL server itself. And we also use the Pentaho and Python script to do our ATL patch, which uh, comment by the airflow. Then what's next? We move to our GCP platform. And what we want is, we want high performance scalability with minimal operational maintenance using data flow, with more granular data with high velocity and less latency using stream processing. And we want to Apple to solve business problems with real time data insights. So at the moment, we use Stack Driver to monitor all log jobs and the machine and we use GCS for our data lake. We use BigQuery as our analytical purpose database. We use PubSub to deliver our streaming message, and we use Dataflow for our streaming data pipeline. So we move to the use case. Before we move to the use case, I want to show you about the Gojek goals. So what is Gojek goals? The Gojek goals is on the North Star metric. So what is North Star metric? North Star metric is something that you want to align with the organization behind 
So the entire company knows what company goal is. So at Gojek, that will be complete booking transactions. So what is metrics that matter when we want to increase the completed booking transactions? We have also to increase the total bookings. We have also need to consider about the allocation and reduce the cancellation rate. Total bookings is the bookings that created by the customer and the allocation is something that we want to align about the customer and the driver and the cancellation rate is the uh, when the customer created the booking, the driver couldn't complete it. And for that use case, I want to show you that when the allocation is mismatched between the driver and the customer, the combat bookings wouldn't be reached. So how to rebalance supply and demand? And how do we view it in real time? So this is the Gojek supply demand use case. So as a user, I want to know which location have mismatched levels of supply demand in real time. And I want to know the particular drivers are based on the real time data aggregation. So if you see the map in front of you, if I hover or pointer in the small dots, which is the driver, I can uh, know the driver detail information according to the name, the plate number, and also the rating of the driver itself. And I want to able to notify driver in low demand area to move to high demand area. So this is, after discussion, this is the pipeline we already made. And as you know, we have so many pipelines here. We have three big pipelines in here. Well, the one is streaming bookie count pipeline. The second one is dimension pipeline from the BigQuery, and stream driver location pipeline we got from the PubSub driver locking lock or the driver ping. Uh, for your information, our driver ping is uh, created by every 10 seconds. It means, and that day we more we have more than 10 billion data pings. So, from the streaming booking pipeline, we consume from our PubSub booking lock or messages, and we created a model which grouped by the S2 ID and also the status, and we used sliding window. As Anand mentioned before, the sliding window, we only concerned about the current uh, window, and we filter with only created status, and the dimension pipeline, we query from BigQuery, we go from three table, location table, service alley table, and also the driver profile. Each of them will create each model and will be refreshed or windowed per day. And on stream driver location pipeline, we consume from PubSub driver location lock and we created a model and we use fixed window. And after that, all of them will be joined and will be stored to our strong stream mem lock memory store and our API will call the stream memory store and we'll create the mapping from this. And we move to implementation. For the implementation, we only focus about the, how we could. So we just got the data, we just got the pipeline using the Apache Beam SDK, and we deploy it to the data flow, as data flow, and that's it. We didn't spin up any machine, any cluster, or stack driver. What we have to do is just push the, the code to the Apache Beam, and Apache Beam will do the rest, like creating the machine. And create the pipeline view for us, and also the stack driver by default. And this is the pipeline implementations that already uh, happened. As you can see, this is the auto scale capability of data flow, which means we can, uh, data flow can scale from one worker to several worker based on how big your data and how big your processing is. And this is the implementations. It's fast forwarded. Actually, it's refreshed in every minute. Okay. So the idea of the inside in here, we got that the red circle don't last long, which is good because the booking might be big in this area, but not for a long time because the driver took the order immediately. So the the aggregated booking, the credit, will be disappeared in the after several minutes. 
But that insect is not enough. How if in that particular area there also a cancelled booking happen in that day? So if there are many booking, it can be completed or cancelled. How can we make sure that every booking is completed, not cancelled? So that's why we created extended use cases. And this is our extended use cases to uh, cancellation alert use case. Previously, we got this chart at the day after, at day plus one, and we couldn't say that, oh, there's uh, something happened yesterday. There's a spike of cancellation yesterday. But why was that happen? But that was too late because that was yesterday, and maybe today it not happened. So as a user, I want to be notified when there's huge cancellation at that time, so I can determine the root cause and fix it as soon as possible. You know this pipeline before, this from our main use case. From this use case, I want to show you that in Apache Beam, we can create a fan out from this previous pipeline, so we don't create pipeline from scratch. What we have to do is we have to concern about the stream booking con pipeline only, because we don't care about the dimension pipeline and the stream, dri stream driver location pipeline, so we move it out. And after we created the model, which is grouped by booking status and S2 ID, we create a find out to sync to pop up to the stream and will be uh, consumed by our cancellation pipeline. And the result will be like this. This is the, our stack driver. As you may see, for example, if the threshold of cancelled booking is more than 10% of total booking, it will give the alert. Of, uh, the give the alert. And after it go up the threshold, it will give us the alert like this. The alert cancelled booking is more than 10%. But again, that's not enough. How do we know the reason? After we get the alert, so what? I couldn't do anything about it. We have to know the reason behind the cancelled booking. And this is the another use case again. So as a user, I want to know the reason cancelled booking in real time. And I want to, not to notify myself and the merchant if item may be sold out or maybe the price difference with the apps and the current store or maybe store is closed out of the schedule. And this is the new pipeline that we created. We still consume from our pops up booking log. We filter status by the canceled only, and we create the different model. We create it by group by the S2 ID and the canceled reason, and we use fixed window, and then we sync to the, our pop up downstream, and we create a notification system. And also, this pipeline can be synced to our BigQuery, so our analysts can determine the the result better. So this is the JSON format that we uh, sync to the pops up downstream. It includes the S2 ID, S2 ID and the merchant name and also cancel reason and how many it happened in that day. So after the use cases, three use cases, I want to share with you about the three takeaways that our lesson learned about using data flow. With data flow, uh, we can create the streaming data processing. We are able to solve machine problem with real-time data insights. And data flow delivers high-performance scalability with minimal operational maintenance. As you already get that, data flow can scale from one to several workers based on how big your data and how complex your processing is. And our report will be different less than a day. So our analysts can do more uh, uh, getting more insight with more recent data. And that's all for me. I will back to you, Anand. Thank you very much.